So Shining Fates. In the real Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Shining Star V obviously is the set that preceded or will precede Shining Fates. It's a Japanese set. As we know, Japanese sets don't translate exactly into English. And I don't mean the language. I mean, you know, the cards aren't exactly the same yeah. over here. Um, and one thing that's missing from Shining Fates is Marnie. Now, you guys may not know this, but Marnie is the most expensive Shining Star V card right now. The She's the, the goth girl waifu, right? Yeah. More expensive than Charizard. More expensive than shiny Charizard VMAX. Yep. Really? No. Yeah. By, Do you by, know what this by, tells by, me? By a stretch. Charizard's like 29,000 yen right now ish, give or take. Uh, Marnie's 44,000 yen. Ooh. I think there's a reason for this, and I think they know what they're doing. Oh, promo set. Right. Yeah. If this, yeah, if this is the <laughs> most valuable card, stick it in a collection box. Yeah. You'll, you'll I mean, sell that collection box through the roof. You can I, have one pack yeah. in it and be 50 quid. It'll sell. I'd love to get it in Shining Fates better than that. But if, if, you, if you're looking yeah. at Pokemon, what they want to do, then yeah, they're going to go from that. And look, they, they have the best research available. They, they, they release it in Japan and they think, right, what, what works? Smack it over here. <laughs> you know? Yeah. They, had, they did have the Rayquaza and the Zoriark and, and the other one, didn't they? Metagross. The Metagross, Metagross yeah. Really, thank you. yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it does make they sense. They also had Solgaleo and Lunala. Yeah. Yeah. As the gold cards. So it yeah. does make sense if Marnie comes over as a promo, because there will be so many accompanying products, won't there, yeah. um, that, that goes alongside Shiny Fates. Well, you say that, will we get them? Because they always get them in America. America yeah. gets like really cool collection boxes. Like They, ha they have everything that well, we they, don't. They, they like, had the Kanto box, right? You know, like The Evolution's problem was big, and that got scalped to death, which just shows you what a, re a reprint would do. A reprint would be great, but also it will be the death of everyone. Like, maybe literally. <laughs> um, <laughs> Probably. Might lose lives. But they, they had the Kanto box, like eight Evolutions packs and a, and a Dragonite GX. We just didn't get it. Um, the the small but mighty set, I think it was called, with the yeah, uh, the, I was Igli Igli the babies didn't get one. That. Yeah, I didn't get love that. that set. It's so sick, and it comes with cosmic uh, packs. <laughs> yeah, but we did, we, we did get so you know nice. um, Grookey on the ball and even a ball for a week, but um, other than that, it's pretty pretty dry over here. But man, there, there is wish... a, there is a problem with Pokemon not seeing the one the UK because we are yeah. important. We, you know yeah. what I mean? We, what are we, we are a whole country, but we spend and, a lot of money. Yeah, exactly. And Europe, like they're, yeah. they're two massive markets, and yet constantly the favor goes to Japan and America. I get Japan; that's where Pokemon was born. Blah blah yeah. blah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But then it all. They go, America, they're printing all the cards. It's I've got to say, it doesn't make any sense that they're printing all the cards over there. Uh, yeah. Because why? It's, it's printing cards, man. It's yeah, not yeah. hard. Well, no, if you look at the... You're not making testers, are you? The biggest, no. Yeah, if you look at the biggest company in the world for cards, it's probably Panini. Mm. They're based in Italy. Like, they, they know oh, wow. how to do it in Europe. Wow. Like... Like obviously you've got Panini America, which prints yeah. like American sports cards, but yeah. a lot of Panini's printed in Italy. And Why not just have it in Europe? There are printers in Europe for the European language yeah. cards, right? You know, the German, etc. But for the for the because we because we speak the English language, we just get it from America. And maybe that's worked. You know, when when it, when they were struggling, but they they're not struggling anymore. And like if they are going to struggle after this hype, maybe it'll happen. It's not going to be for a good three four years because like this hype level right now is just ridiculous. Maybe COVID when it dies down, we'll see a lot of people leave the hobby, but still like. You're going to get people buying packs from Sainsbury's still for years now, right? It doesn't cost much, though, right? It doesn't. All you need is like a big commercial printer. Uh, yeah. You bring over some expertise over from the US and maybe you have a little fulfillment place. Well, they'll you be custom-built machines. Yeah. Like, they'll, they'll have the contracts. They'll have the engineering know-how how to build those machines again. It wouldn't yeah. be a yeah. massive obligation is what I, I don't think. Oh, yeah. damn. Well, yeah, so here, <laughs> also, sorry to interrupt, I mean oh. to do that, but we also have now the translated and the actual digital set list of Shining Fates, so let's just take a gander. That's and the it is Pika, 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 Pika yeah. card, is it? The promo? It is a great set. Yeah, this is pretty, a promo. Yeah, this is what's, what's going to come with the Shining Fates collection box. Yeah. Um, and they had this in Japan, obviously, first. Glory, Mr. Rhyme, Dene, Altergeist. Well, these are hollows. These are, these are the promos, actually. Yeah. These, are, these are all promos. Um, Eldegoss, Bolton. Uh, I'm not going to lie, they all look great. Like... Yeah, a lot of people won't like. Uh, I'm on about the V full odds. Okay. Like yeah, a lot of yeah. people don't care too much for the the normal hollows, and I get that. But the V full odds that they've chose, yeah, they're weird Pokemon, but they look banging. Yeah, I will say that the the the, the, the full arts from the Japanese Shiny Star V set into the English set didn't translate very well. The Japanese Charizard Shiny V looks so much better than the Champions Path. So yeah, Shiny Star V just looks oh, better. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just a shame, but they do look better. However, I, I genuinely prefer the uh, the um, amazing Raz in English. Yeah, yeah. In some cases, so it depends, it depends like which. Trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. I mean, yellow works, right? Yellow works as a border on some colors. 
I think the, the, mm. in Japan they do grey or silver because that works with all colours more than yellow does. Like, yeah. You know. Um, that's like, I'm glad that they've not just gone Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur as the yeah. as the main Pokemon for the pink collections and stuff because yeah. right, I, I want to pull the, the coolest stuff out of a pack. Yeah. Mm. Okay. No, that makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. Apart from Marnie, apparently. Marnie gets a better stall. <laughs> yeah. But, so yeah. this is the full set now. This is the full yeah. set list of Shining so Fates. This is the Shining Fates side of the Shiny Vault. You know how Hidden Fates was the sh Hidden Fates side of the Shiny Vault? This is the same concept here. Yeah, that looks great. Wow. Oh, the Amazing Rares are just so, so nice. They are. Oh, oh Kyogre. Best Pokemon out yes, of Kyogre. Let's and oh, go. Minus five seconds on the submission <laughs> video, guys. If you send that in, <laughs> I'll skip straight over it. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> I was so tempted, by the way, I, I was going to do it as a surprise to go and get like 100 Kyogre cards and send it in to you guys and tell Tom to make Connor do the video on that day where I just sent pure. I'll still do it. Why not? Oh, look, look at this. Um, so funny. cool. Yeah. But face no boy. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying these cards, of course, but I do want to skip through because do, I do want to get to the shinies. That's what it's all about. Why well, Vettel there? Oh, that Vettel looks so sick. Just pops in it with the colors. I've got to say, I do appreciate that they're still making a lot of effort with the normal arts. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's not deteriorated in quality because they're <gasps> under pressure. Does that make sense? Yeah, Com common cards look so good for a long time really mm. recently, right? They put a lot of effort into yeah. the, 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 the Vs, the Vmaxes, but also the actual common. Like, they, that's, an, that's an incredible yeah, that's piece of amazing. art, right? Yeah, it is yeah. amazing. Oh, that's sick. That one I've less seen that before. <laughs> I like that. Big, I, like <laughs> I like that. Big that. Chunky I like boy. that. Cramorant's just oh, amazing. Oh, poor guy. Boss his orders back. Team trainer. Rush his research. Rush the shield. There's some full art. So, so that's, nah. that's, that's the one full art. So I'm I don't know why so glad there's a ball guy full art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it so much. I've got a lot. I've sent a lot of these to you guys, actually, for, uh, for Graydon. Berkey for Toby. Shout out. Car list. He's, He's going to love that. He is. Yeah, he will. Skyler. I'm pretty sure he sent us like a million but of no the uh, non-full art. Did he? Yeah. Big. Oh, cake. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's go. go. Let's go. Go That's sick. Fit. Oh. What we don't get as well, you, we, we don't get digital scans like this in Japan. So they don't, they don't do this for the mm. Japanese sets. We just get scans, like high quality scans of the cards. But I actually do like seeing sometimes the flat artwork without any shine to it. Um, mm. Get more defined artwork. Oh, that's oh, cool. Center Scorch is an yeah. absolute smasher, man. No, oh, it's a... Uh... Big Dick Dale. <laughs> Big Dick Dale. <laughs> You can't this, this is great. Bitter, man. That's that got to be the best one, right? That's the yeah, best yeah, one. Actually, Normal. I, don't know, well. I think that's the, the highest price. Shiny Suicune well. is so much like normal Suicune. I like the I like the shinies that are really different. Yeah, but it's a Suicune. It looks sick. Like personally, it is a Suicune. I like, yeah, yeah, it's still sick. It's better than any of these. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, playing guitar or something. Make your mind up. <laughs> still not better. <laughs> I think there's so many cool baby oh. shinies. I really like the. Uh, well, yeah, this is like obviously. there's not actually that many. There's not as many V's or V Maxes or as there were G E X's. I don't think in Hidden Fates, but there's yeah. a lot of baby shinies, which is nice. Really, um, the Rotom I, looks so cool. Again, the you know there's a lot of this generation's Pokemon, isn't there? Right. So yeah. they they few, haven't yeah. gone back to Gen One, Gen Two, Gen Three to, to oh, yeah, get the yeah. confidence from them. What they've done is is they've gone no this this is good enough. Sword and Shield Pokemon are good enough. And we've oh, got full confidence in them. And look great. It's, yeah, you're, you're right, Connor. It's, it's a massive step in the right direction. And as much as the Gen Oners and a lot of the old school people don't like it, it you have to put breath. You know, we're, everyone's complaining. Charizard's a great Pokemon, but everyone complains that they they pay too much attention to Charizard, and they still are in this set. But look at all the other like limelight they're giving the rest of the Pokemon. You know, it, it's great to see. You have to you have to progress. You know. Exactly, because now in the future, these yeah. cards will be looked back on as as worthwhile. So when they print those again in ten years' time, they'll mm -hmm. have value. And like yeah. you said, you, your favorite is Dragapult, right? So yeah, yeah. you know, so sick. Yeah, it I mean, shoots I, I mean, its I, own babies I like, out of its face. A lot of people hate me for this. I, I like Dragapult more than I like Dragonite. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I don't dislike Dragonite. I prefer this as a Pokemon, and it's brand new. You know, and, and a, lot, a lot of people are similar. And also, Sword and Shield is is now the third highest selling Pokemon game of all time, under Gold and Silver and Red and Blue. Um, so it's like, you know, you're going to have a lot of generation of, of, of kids playing these games that are going to grow up with these being their Gen 1, if you, if you know what I'm saying. Like, not yeah. everyone's Gen 1 yeah. was Gen 1, <laughs> if that makes weird sense. No, know? yeah, for sure. John's Gen 1 was Gen 4. Yeah. It's Which he likes John yeah. a lot. Exactly. Where did he get up to? It's the only reason why we keep him around, really. <laughs> <laughs> but like, oh man, so many of these are sick. I like really it. like the uh, Galar Galarian Surfetch. Colossal. Really I love it. I think I'm, I'm thinking of collecting Colossals because I need yeah. to get into one of the new uh, Pokemon. And I, I think Colossal, I'm, I'm liking the look of. Love that. 
And I that. loved opening Shiny Star V, so I, I yes, can't wait for Shiny good, Fates. Right? Oh, sh- the high class packs in Japanese, you've opened my eyes to something that I'm never going to be able to get away from now. They're, yeah, so, they're, they're, so they're the best set of Pokemon ever, like those boxes. Because it also, the, the, like, the fun part about it is, is there's only 10 packs and they're, they're, they're full with so much, so much value. So you can get through a box really quick. That was my problem. I was getting, I was addicted to Tag All Stars and Shiny Star V. And I, I, you know, I started opening some from my personal collection. Then I would open some for the store. And then I would start opening them like, I, I would, for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I can't, I couldn't stop opening boxes, not for the store, not for no, myself. Yeah, for I'm sure. like, what am I doing with these? I mean, I grade a lot of them, but I was like, well, why am I opening? Stop, Randy, stream, stop, yeah. stop, stop, stop. In my stream, I was planning on opening one box of either. Tag All Stars or uh, Shiny Star V. Yeah. Ended up opening both boxes of Shiny Star V, three boxes of Tag All Stars, as well as Vivid and uh, Legendary Heartbeat. And I was like, I, I, I can't stop. I want to open more. Uh, I grabbed another Tag All Stars box. I was like, I need, I need to open it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got some more Japanese for you, actually. Um, <gasps> oh, so I've, I've kept nice. a few for like opening on my channel as well. So, like, um, I'll send you some. Nice. Just to know. Uh, Ducklet and Swanner. I don't know what it is. Ducklet and Swanner are like some of my top tier Pokemon ever. I really yeah, like them. Yeah, that's fair. The okay. so I, I I've got a thing about bird Pokemon. I yeah, really you do. like bird Pokemon. Bird Keeper, Tom. New <laughs> brand. <laughs> Tom B. Oh, uh, we got the we got the Welsh Pokemon in there. Oh, Corvinax is steel type Pokemon, right? I was like, why isn't that there? But yeah. And then um, what have we got? Oh man, there's oh, so many. There really is a here lot, isn't there? Oh, it's nice. the big boy. Big yeah. Do you prefer the V or the V Max? The V, I think, actually, not that not that the V Max is bad, but I like. I mean, I like I like the V Max better as a Pokemon style because he looks like a Super Saiyan Dragon Ball Z character, which I, which it I looks love. Looks like but I think as a card, like the pose here looks really sick. I, I, I like them both. Yeah, yeah. There he is. It, it is a sick card, right? Like, it's one. It is one of the, it, it, I said this I think in the last podcast. I think it's one of the best Charizard ever, cards ever. Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, up there with the Gold Star. Up there with the uh, the sc- scourge, I think it is. I think it's just a nice card. Damn, they it's a big feed. chunky dragon. They can't like, mm-hmm. but they've actually smashed the design. They've made it so you can actually see the edges, unlike the normal V Max. Yeah, it stresses um, me it's right. Out. Feeding the fire, right? They just keep putting those Charizards out there, and they're just adding stuff onto it. I reckon the next one's gonna have four oh, wings. Grimmsnarl looks so <laughs> good yeah, as a shiny. Right. It Grim- I don't like Grimmsnarl like its normal coloration, but the shiny looks shiny. so sick. Yeah. Oh, my boy! He's a happy boy. My boy! I need to pull him. I need to pull him so bad. It's such a, I love VMAX Ditto. How cool is that? It's so sick. It's, it's just such a stupid like, yeah. splodge. I love him. And then these gold and black cards. Gold ones. And we don't have Zation or Zanzent there. Oh. Because they're in that ultra premium collection. Ultra that premium that collection. We still haven't got in UK, by the way. In a million years. Yeah. Mm. Can, can everyone also watching this understand that we have not had that in UK? Yeah. Um, They've had it in America for months now, but it's not arrived at the UK. Which is, which is I incredible. really like the style of card. Like, yeah, I really like, like the style of well. card. Yeah, um, it's so, so, it, so different. It kind of looks like a like what you would have had as a proxy card, but Pokemon went, "No, we'll take the idea. We'll make it better." And there you go. It's a sick ass promo. Yeah, I think I yeah. think they're better than the gold cards. Yeah, like the the not the Japanese gold tag all stars cards. The like the the sun and moon. Oh era yeah, gold. the 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 um yeah. The uh, the Tapu Koko, right? This, yeah, uh, yeah, those ones. Yeah, yeah. Well, the ones that are nice, like gold think, on gold on gold. The, the last thing we can probably look 